Hello, people. Miss Jeff is working late tonight. I've got the kids having a early week, <laughs> midweek <laughs> movie night. Rented Land Before Time from the library. And what's funny is, disregard my days with the digits. <laughs> what is funny about that? What happened to my parchment paper? No way I don't have any. Um, is there? Is it possible? This is possible. Um, what's funny is, for the last week or so, we rented Land Before Time, like, part 15, you know, whatever. There's like a hundred of them. And we've never seen the beginning parts, so this is really exciting for the kids that will finally figure out what's going on. Um, Making some mixed brownies, believe it. Um, and then I'm going to talk to you at the same time. Here's what's going down. In keeping with my last post, which was about being happy, I still am. It's only day to day. Um, but more importantly, I think is that I'm on a certain life journey. <laughs> I'm not, I wish I were kidding, but I'm not. I am. And I think part of being in your, you know, 30s is entering a different phase. You know, no offense to people who aren't in that phase of life yet. Um, entering a different phase and I think people will acknowledge that this is true, where you start to do more for yourself. And since I'm naturally, um, I'm just naturally a self-sacrificer, I'm naturally guilt-ridden, uh, it's very hard for me to disappoint people, let people down. And, um, you know, I really struggle with it, to the point where I will more likely put myself out well, of course, you know, than ever put somebody else out. In fact, I'll say, like, I mean, the tr my biggest pet peeves in people, my, my least favored traits to find people are, like, people with a sense of entitlement or people who are inconsiderate, people who inconvenience others. I mean, inconveniencing someone, to me, is, like, you know, the worst transgression. So... <laughs> Because of that, to all those feelings, I mean, I really try never, ever to inconvenience anyone. I would rather inconvenience myself than somebody else. Even if, obviously, I'm a real person, you know, I don't really want to be inconvenienced either. And the reason I hate it so much in other people is because it pisses me off so much when it happens to me. But I never want anyone else to think that I've done that to them. I, you know, I really try hard never to do that. Mr. F can um, back me up. I mean, it's to the point of being ridiculous. So, you know, I mean, a lot of it is like people-pleasing behaviors, obviously, and wanting people to like you, and obviously on some level a feeling that people won't or you can't be good enough or, you know. Um, and I think part of my happiness here, I, it's been interesting for me to be here because I approached being here differently than I've approached being other places. And I didn't try to <laughs> win people over like I might have. I didn't really uh, agree to stuff that, I mean, I certainly have done some things, but um, not really people. I feel like, yes, at kids' school, do I overextend myself a little bit? Yes. But not like I would have, and certainly not um, all across the board, you know, like I really did before. So, in a way, because I didn't like it here, I was allowed to be like, eh, I'm not, I'm not staying here, I don't need to be that invested, I don't need to have everybody like me. Too bad, you know? And people, it's been really freeing, and the funny thing about it, 
not really funny because it's probably like telling and interesting on its own, is that I have met people, no offense to people in Ann Arbor, because I did, after years of being there, have you know people I met who I really enjoyed and were close friends. But I'm just saying, like in a shorter span of time, I have met more people I've liked by not trying to be a people pleaser than I did the first time because I'm attracting different people to me. Where the first time around, it took me a long time to finally meet the people who were, I think, it took a longer time. I, I ended up with friends that I liked who are, well, you know, who are real true friends who, you know, wish you the best. But when you're a people pleaser, I think, you know, everyone out there who is one can acknowledge, it's harder to find those people and it takes a long time because you got to whittle out all the people who are kind of taking advantage of you even if they don't realize it. And you can't really be close friends with those people because you're hating them. <laughs> You know what I mean? Even though you're saying yes and you know you're doing it to yourself, you also, you know, I do, and I know my mom does. <laughs> so I know other people who are honest will admit this. You do still resent that people asked you or allowed you to inconvenience yourself. You know what I mean? It's, you know, it's funny, but it's true. So try as you might. And then at the same time, double whammy, you're also mad at yourself and your spouse is probably mad at you too that you keep on doing something you don't like doing or isn't fun for you. So I will say, some of my happiness is because I have stopped doing a lot of that. Still, it would be my natural instinct and I will tell you that like when kid had her carnival last weekend and parents had to sign up, plenty of people signed up for one thing. Me, I signed up for three. You know what I mean? Like, it's still my natural instinct. But I'm getting better at it. Yes, I did just sign up to be class parent. <laughs> but I'm trying to do things in a way that I think um, I'm thinking more about what I'm going to get out of it. And I'm not, and you know, I think it's I'm not saying that I'm being selfish. I'm trying to be more um, I'm trying to have more self-interest though. I'm trying to be, I'm trying to preserve what's best for me and act what's best for me. I'm happy to help you. I want to help you. I want to do something nice for you. But I don't want to do it at the expense of myself anymore because I've realized that makes me hate you. It makes for a bad friendship. It makes me angry and it takes away from any time for me to rebuild my own self and that has to be key. So that is the phase I'm going in and I'm feeling better. Um, especially because, let's face it, I'm a stay-at-home mom, so m my day revolves around meeting the needs of other people, you know, like other people's days do, you know. You know, on a daily basis, I'm, I don't get to put my needs first, and, um, you know, I have to put kids' needs and Mr. Ruff's needs or whatever first, even when they don't know it or acknowledge it, we all know this happens as spouses, that I'm already meeting Mr. F's need, whether he knows that I'm doing that or not. You know what I mean? Like, it's happening. Um, you know, you have to consider other people and it's, it's all day long. So I'm trying to, in the rest of my life, try to uh, make sure that what I'm doing meets my own needs, you know? It's great to help people. It really is. It's great to help people, especially when doing so doesn't hurt your hurt you, you know. And that there's a way to do both things, and it just takes practice. And um, I'm working more towards doing that. And I'm happier with it. So that's the lesson to be learned. That like really sacrificing yourself, it just never works out. People, no one ever gives you the credit for what you were doing. And you just get pissed off. And then you hate that person. You know, am I wrong here or what? You know I'm right. So I would rather uh, do the things that are mutually beneficial. Like going to this carnival, for example, making the fancy cookies, pulling hairs. No one appreciated them. You know, they were literally sold at the same price as the stupid, you know, break and bake from the refrigerator section with no decoration. So lesson learned, you know. If I'm going to do that, I'm going to do it because I enjoy it or it brings me pride. I'm not going to do it because it's going to make somebody else happy because it didn't. You know what I mean? 
Like I gotta really balance my stuff. I'm learning. I'm learning to say no to stuff. Um, and that's that. Also, other huge thing for me. Oh, this is getting long. That's enough huge things.